they had to keep on changing the guards because every guard they put there got saved. <laughs> every guard, because he was whispering to them, don't you know Jesus loves you? Don't you know God's going to make a way? And they would be thinking like, this man, we got him in stocks, we got him in jail, we got him in prison, and he's talking life to me. And so as they would sit there and talk, they eventually would get saved. He would do things like they gave him a crust of bread, sister Ruth. They gave him crust of bread. And he said, enjoyed the bread. And God looked at him like, you gave me that old crust of hard bread. He said, why are you so happy about that? He said, all this in heaven too. All this in heaven too. You got to look at this. I can make it. I can make it. Look how you're getting ready to go forward. Get ready to reveal. From this day forward, let me just finish up here. From this day forward is when you start finding Jesus start doing miracles. But what caused him to do miracles in this little sleepy town called Canaan? Couldn't even find it. 1,800 years after this time. Did they find, where's Canaan? Where's Canaan? We know where Capernaum, we know where Jerusalem, we know where Ephesians, know where Rome. Where in the world was Canaan? They had to do excavations to find it. But that's what Jesus revealed in there. So you don't got to worry about it and say, it don't matter what side of track you live on. Don't matter what you're going through. He's concerned about the smallest things. And if you call on him, he'll come by and see about you. And he's a father. He's a father. You know why he's a father? He do just like I do with my daughter, you know? He said, he told the wife, he told his mother rather, he said, well, what have I got to do with you? You know, this ain't even my time. Just like me and my daughter. My daughter be like, Daddy, give me some money. Would you loan me some money? And you know what really mean, give me. And I'm like, I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't, you're always looking for money. I ain't. <laughs> you do that, why? Because you're loving. He's a God that loves us. He loves you. He will meet your needs. If you've gotten off where you're supposed to be, you know what? That's really okay because God will forgive you. Everybody say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. We've all gotten off, haven't we? But God loves you enough that he'll tell you, come unto me. I'll give you rest. Y'all stand with me. So stand with me. What do you do when the wine runs out?